feeling good right here on Expresso. And we only feel good if you feel good, okay? So yes, we've been getting into food and so many other things. But my friend, it is time for us to have those important conversations with our friends at APSA. Now, if you did not know, from the 1st of September, the government will be implementing the two-pot retirement system, which, if actually you think about it, is almost like a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for us when we have expenses that were unexpected. And my lovely, I can tell you this much, APSA knows all about it in case you're like, what is the two-pot retirement system? Which is why we are so excited to welcome these two incredible humans. I'm talking about Walani, forgive me, as well as Tawanda. Let's give them a feel good breakfast show. Welcome everybody. Hi, Absa family. How are you? Morning. Fantastic, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. So, Tawanda, I want to start with you, please. Sure. Because when we look at the two-part retirement system, mm -hmm. if anybody is like, oh my goodness, what are they talking about? What is it? Um, look, these are reforms to our retirement system mm -hmm. um, that are being introduced by National Treasury mm -hmm. uh, to be effective the 1st of September this year. Sure. Uh, the intention there is really to allow um, fund members who are in financial distress to access a portion of their retirement savings uh, without having to withdraw all of their funds. Right? Wow. Um, I think importantly, um, what, what that helps with is um, someone doesn't have to retire. Mm. Uh, so someone doesn't have to resign uh, in order to access their funds. We've seen in the past where upon hitting uh, hard times, mm. um, some people have almost been forced to, to, to resign in order to access um, these retirement savings because more often than not, those are the only savings that they have. And unfortunately, sure. um, that leads to uh, a lot of uh, unintended and dire outcomes where upon retirement, there's really nothing left. Right? Sure. So what this does really is to mm. give access to your retirement savings uh, in need, yeah. uh, but still allowing you to have um, a bigger portion of your retirement savings mm. available uh, when you do retire. So, and I've actually heard so many people say that, where they were like, no, I'm leaving this job mm. because I'm hoping for my retirement to come through mm. and you know things will be okay. Yeah. So that's actually incredible. Mm. But then Tawanda, how will it work? Um, put simply, uh, from the 1st of September, your contribution to your retirement fund will be split by the fund itself okay. uh, into a savings pot Mm. Uh, and the retirement pot. Right? The savings pot will get a third of your contribution and the remainder, two thirds, goes into the, reti the retirement pot. Yes. Uh, as an example, uh, if your monthly contribution is 900 rands, mm. 300 rands goes into the savings pot <laughs> and 600 into your retirement pot. Okay. What you have access to is the savings pot. Right? You can withdraw as much as you need, mm. uh, but with a minimum of 2,000 rand uh, that you can withdraw. Um, but you can only do that once every tax year. Okay. Right? But the thing is, you don't have to withdraw. It's not a requirement for you to, to withdraw. Mm. Uh, and when you need to withdraw, I think what we have generally been advising is you really need to think carefully about it because there are consequences uh, and you need to seek financial advice. Yeah. So that's pretty much uh, how it works at a very high level. Yeah. I love that. And I, I genuinely feel like it, it almost really sounds like our government caring about our financial well-being, which is so amazing mm -hmm. if you look at it from any perspective. But of course, Tawanda came through Halana and, and said that, OK, you need to think carefully before you access this pot. Why is it that we need to think carefully, please, Halani? Uh, absolutely. I think our clients have to remember that when you withdraw money, you're actually going to be taxed at the marginal tax rate, okay. which essentially means that you're going to spend a lot of money also on the tax component. Mm. So what we're saying to our clients currently is that as you go and withdraw this money, don't just do it uh, without necessarily need it. So you need to make sure that you're in dire need yeah. of the amount of money that you are borrowing. But I mean, it's also important to remember that clients are actually living longer. Uh, the life expectancy is quite long. So by taking some of these amounts of money right now, mm. you're essentially withdrawing money that you could have used uh, for your pension later in life. Yes. So do it when you really need it. But at the same time, our clients have got to understand that financial advice is important in that process. So mm. they need to go and speak with the financial advisors. So at APSA, we have got financial advisors that are ready, waiting for them at yes. all our branches so that they can assist them and ensure that, um, you know, they get proper financial advice before they withdraw the money. So we also do have advisors that are waiting for them virtually mm -hmm. that can assist them with this process. We also do have uh, products such as notice deposits as a bank 
that yes. they can also go and park money and, and make sure that um, they take that decision having thoroughly thought about the implications of that. I love that. You see, just like I said, our government cares about our financial well-being. APSA cares about our financial well-being, which we appreciate, guys. And this is why I also have to ask then, just so that we are in the know, is every retirement fund contributor now, or rather, does this apply to them in terms of this new system? Uh, so currently it's available uh, to the private as well as the public sector. Okay. But it's important to remember that anyone who is part of the old generation or legacy retirement uh, mm. annuity policies or funds, with no active participating mem members, these people will not be covered for that. But also when we started this, we actually had a call coming out saying that pensioners would have an option, those who were in Provident Fund, uh, who were 55 years and older, they had an option to opt in. Okay. And if you have not opted in for the two system, that means that it will not be available for you. Oh, wow. So I actually have to opt in? No, 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 no. Oh, the there people was a from call before. For the people yes, for years years and all that. Okay, yes. thank God because I was like, I haven't opted in, guys. Okay, amazing. <laughs> I don't wonder. I want to ask you very quickly before we wrap up. Is there anything else that we need to know so that we don't make mistakes like I just did? <laughs> yeah. Well, look, um, the retirement part that I mentioned earlier, that's only available to you uh, upon retirement, mm. but you still maintain the right uh, when you do resign um, to access the fund for the purposes of transferring it to a preservation fund. Okay. Right. And in the cases of retrenchment, that will be dealt with in future phases of um, uh, the reforms. Yeah. Uh, and like uh, Warani mentioned, um, feel free to walk into any one of our ABSA branches. Our financial advisors more than happy to, to, to help. Mm. Um, while you're at it, talk to them about uh, the amazing suites of uh, products that we have. Talk to them about ultimate banking. Yeah. Talk to them about savings and investments. We've got fan fantastic uh, promotions going on now. Uh, it is savings month after all. Yeah. And um, your story matters and we're here for you. I love that. Tawanda and Hualani, thank you for reminding us that our story matters, but also for coming and educating us. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for having you so us. Much. You see why I said we had to have the important conversations, my lovely? Yes, it is absent that has got your back when it comes to being financially sound and even being cautious when it comes to your money matters. And this is why we want to remind you that from the 1st of September 2024, there will be that two-part retirement system that is being put in place by the government. Well, if you need any more information, you know where to go, appsa.co.za. That is where you can find it. Because like I said, they got our back and they keep reminding us that your story matters. There are stories of believers and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. APSA.